Hey everybody, welcome to Anonymod. Today we're diving into the hidden risks lurking within your living room. That's right, we're talking about smart TVs, those sleek, feature-packed entertainment hubs that have become a staple in most modern homes. So, buckle up as we uncover how hackers can target your smart TV and, more importantly, what you can do to protect yourself. Alright, let's talk about one of the most common ways hackers can weasel their way into your smart TV weak network security. Most of us connect our smart TVs to our home Wi-Fi networks. But if your Wi-Fi network isn't properly secured, it's like leaving your front door wide open for any cybercriminal to waltz right in. We're talking about using weak passwords, or worse, no password at all, on your router. If your Wi-Fi network is unsecured, anyone with a little bit of know-how can hop on and start snooping around. Once a hacker is on your network, they can potentially intercept data traveling between your TV and the internet. This could include anything from your browsing history and login credentials to even more sensitive information like credit card details. So, the takeaway here is simple. Securing your Wi-Fi network is absolutely crucial for protecting not just your smart TV, but all the devices connected to your home network. Okay, let's talk about another common security pitfall that trips up a lot of smart TV owners' default credentials. When you first unbox your smart TV, it comes with a set of default login credentials for accessing the device's administrative settings. These default credentials are often the same across multiple devices and sometimes even publicly available online. Hackers know this and actively scan the internet looking for devices with these easily guessable login details. Once a hacker gains access to your smart TV using default credentials, they can wreak all sorts of havoc. We're talking about installing malicious software, accessing your personal information, or even hijacking your TV's camera and microphone to spy on you. But the good news is, preventing this is super simple. Change those default credentials the moment you set up your smart TV. Choose a strong, unique password that's not easy to guess, and you'll significantly reduce the risk of someone hijacking your TV. Chapter 3. Malware via Apps when your entertainment turns evil. Let's talk about another sneaky way hackers can target your smart TV malicious apps. One of the coolest things about smart TVs is the ability to download and install apps, just like on your smartphone. But not all apps are created equal. There are shady apps out there designed to steal your information or wreak havoc on your device. These malicious apps can disguise themselves as legitimate apps, making it tricky to spot the bad guys. So, how do you protect yourself? First and foremost, be cautious about the apps you download. Stick to official app stores and be wary of downloading apps from third-party websites. Remember, a little bit of caution goes a long way in keeping your smart TV safe from malicious apps. Chapter 4. Exploiting IoT Vulnerabilities Your TV is just the beginning. Let's talk about a bigger picture security concern that goes beyond just your smart TV, the Internet of Things, or IoT. Your smart TV is part of a larger ecosystem of interconnected devices in your home like smart lights, thermostats, and security cameras. The more devices you connect, the more potential entry points you create for hackers. Some devices come with weak default passwords, outdated software, or vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. So what can you do about it? Be mindful of the IoT devices you bring into your home. Choose reputable brands that prioritize security and keep the software on all your devices up to date. Remember, securing your smart TV also means securing the entire IoT ecosystem it's connected to. Chapter 5. Man in the Middle Attacks, Someone's Watching Your Stream Let's talk about a sneaky type of attack that can happen on unencrypted networks, Man in the Middle Attacks, or MITM for short. Imagine this. You're browsing the web on your smart TV, and someone is lurking on your network, intercepting every bit of data that's being transmitted. That's essentially what a man-in-the-middle attack is. A hacker finds a way to position themselves between your smart TV and the internet, usually by exploiting a vulnerability on your Wi-Fi network. From there, they can intercept all the data that's being sent back and forth, including sensitive information like login credentials and credit card details. So how do you protect yourself from MITM attacks? Make sure your Wi-Fi network is using strong encryption like WPA2 or WPA3. Another important step is to avoid connecting your smart TV to public Wi-Fi networks whenever possible. Outro Stay Smart, Stay Safe 
We've covered a lot of ground today, from weak network security and default credentials to malicious apps and the ever-present threat of the IoT. By understanding the potential risks and taking some simple precautions, you can significantly reduce the chances of your smart TV becoming a target for hackers. Until next time, stay safe, stay secure, and I'll catch you in the next video.